hi everyone and welcome to this new video so in this new video i like to talk about something really interesting is how to create an awesome render how to create a clean render how to reduce the noise and make it look great so to do that i like to talk about six things that you need to do to get finally a good render for example like like that this uh, things actually is the pixel size global the max samples that you use in your render then the render target that's mean render a new window or direct to file then the environment color if you create like a portrait like me mostly i create portraits then the light and mostly the hdri map that you use and how to manage your hdri map how to change some options to get finally like a perfect light or a good light then the render edit that's mean uh, photoshop or the right room or uh, using for example that the preset that i create by the way you can enjoy the discount you can get from the link in the description or the link on top of the video so let's see the first thing the pixel size i talk about the pixel size so many times so actually the pixel size is the pixel global of your render as you can see here in this render for example here we have 3840 and here 2500 it's look big pixel size but this is one of the keys to get a good result is to render with a big pixel size so this is really important the second thing is the max samplers so i recommend you when you use a big pixel size like that to use a max samplers max 500 but 350 give really good results and i like to show you that in this video I'll show you everything then we have here the render target that's mean so the render target direct to file or a new window so by default here a new window so direct to file is better because it take less time than a new window so direct to file is uh, so much better we have the environment color this is what the environment color is actually the color here that you have in your scene so if you create portraits like me it's better to use like a simple color don't use for example like a backdrop or something or a prop for the background use like a simple color and to create a simple color just you click environment then background and then you change the color for example you can change any color you want and this gives really good result because actually you don't have any prop in your background just the color okay so this give a good result and you can visit and you can visit my uh, coffee to see for ex some examples i can show you here so this is my coffee gallery and you can see that i use here for example pink color here black color here for example blue color and that's really give a good result then we have here the light or the hdri map so guys actually the light is the most important thing for a good render or for a render for your render actually the light is the most important because the light gives realism for your render you can see here for example if i delete for example the environment options no light you can see here that actually no render quality here we don't have any quality if i come back you can see that the light gives really realism for your render so guys you can use any light that you want i recommend you use light from the there's a store you can find so many hdri maps and if you like i offer for you a light and a preset in one package you can enjoy the discount and get my presets and my light in one package and enjoy rendering so this presets and this light is exactly the presets and the light that i use to create all all the surrenders on my coffee gallery by the way i put link in the description if you like to visit my coffee gallery and see some examples 
so enjoy the discount if you like it so finally we have the render edit the render edit is actually the presets that you use or let's see or let's say how to edit your render so most of artists use photoshop or lightroom or there is another software but the most popular software is photoshop then lightroom so for me i use lightroom and i create 20 presets for lightroom and i use it every time i create a new render and i really get really good results and actually this is the render that i create here exactly this one and this is my render after apply uh, one of my 20 presets okay so i'd like to show you something here actually in this scene i don't have anything just a character and a camera so i apply my uh, light here light then i have directions here that i can change the directions so for this render here i use this direction 90. we have other directions this is really important the light the light give you a shadow in your uh, character that means that the shadow make the morphs look clearer here in your render the morphs you can see here all the morphs this is really important then after rendering i just use lightroom and i apply one of my presets then you need to know something that every render need to you need to fix the options here for every render that you use for example here uh, it's look like high explosion so i can change here okay you can change so many options for example the red color the uh, the clarity too is really important here give more details or less details so now i'd like to show you how long how long this render take time to done using the uh the options that i already show you here so big pixel size just here 350 max samples and let's for example call it render render one i change here to texture shaded this is really important too to give your pc more uh, ram more ram to render because when you use here nvidia and render and nvidia is on this take more time to done so you change here to text you change it and okay so let's click render and let's see how long that this render take to done so guys you can see clearly here that this render just take four minutes to done it's like it's not a long time okay just four minutes and i'd like to show you the result so this is my render let's zoom so you can see that the render keep all the details the details the skin the clothes her eyes and this is really good and then here with lightroom and i can so zoom okay then i can apply uh, this preset you can apply any other preset i have 20 presets and you can edit your render you can create your own preset if you like just like if you i just like to help you i give you a light and the preset to directly apply it and get good result then finally here you can see that we have really good result here that's good if you like to enjoy my light and preset, you can get it. You can enjoy the discount. You can get it from the link in the description or from the link in the top of the video. So enjoy rendering. Thank you, everyone. See you in the next video. Ciao.